it's Rhea. Welcome back to my channel. And like I always say, if you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm glad to have you here. If you guys saw my previous video of my whole move-in vlog, I moved into my big girl apartment. I have been here for like two months now. Today's the day. The time has finally come. I'm going to give you guys my apartment tour. Okay, this is what it looks like when you first walk in. So first up in the entryway, the apartment actually gave us this organizer, which was really amazing because I put like my keys and stuff there and I can just grab it on my way out. We put our trash can here. I know it's literally right next to the door, but there was nowhere else to put it. It's just like a step lid trash can. Ignore the Amazon boxes. We order a lot of stuff. Moving on to the kitchen. So we're used to having a kitchen island, but this floor plan unfortunately didn't have a kitchen island. So we got this high dining table from Amazon with four bar stools and not only is there prep space, we can also eat here. We have a lot of cabinet space. I cannot say the same about the drawers, but you know, we're making do. Um, over here, we have the fridge split between my side and Pernisha's side. Pernisha's my roommate. I'm not gonna go super in depth in the kitchen, but basically we were kind of spread out all over. Like in our last apartment, we had like my side, my other roommate's side. Here they're just, they're kind of everywhere. Like I have random like boxes and plates and stuff here. And then Pernisha has her stuff here. And then I have my stuff here. I have my hands up on here because there's not a single cabinet here that's the right size to fit it, which is really weird. Got the oven, the stovetop, your microwave, etc. And then over here on this side, we have a dedicated pantry, which is great instead of just a cabinet. So these two shelves are mine, those two are Pranisha's, and then we have room down here to put extra stuff. Okay, moving on to the left side. So this is Pranisha's bathroom and bedroom. I'm not going to show you that because it's not a tour of her stuff, it's a tour of mine. Um, but over here, we have like her shoes. I have like one pair of shoes of mine. Um, and then this is our little coat closet. So we have all our coats, my cowboy boots, etc. Moving on to the living room. And y'all, we've been living in student housing where furniture is included, but none of this was included. So we furnished it and decorated it ourselves. First up, we have this Juliet balcony. So we can't actually go out on there, but it has such an amazing view and it's golden hour right now it is so pretty it came with these blinds so we can close it at night okay so let's talk furniture we got this mini gray sectional this coffee table as well as the matching side table and the two chairs and this rug all from facebook marketplace watch is like from a company that like you know resells like other used furniture but they like clean it and fix it up and stuff um, and then we got like the side table and the coffee table for a really good deal because some girl was moving the next day. This rug, I absolutely love it. I've never had such a big rug in an apartment before. We used to have like these weird cheap Amazon shag rugs that would literally absorb every single thing you dropped on it and it was so gross. But this is like an eight by 10 rug and we got it for such an amazing deal and it was brand new. It was like a furniture company that bought like a hundred rugs that was selling it at a discount. I absolutely love these chairs. Pranisha loves them more than me, uh, but it's like a really good height to like bring this and like eat my food if I need to. And it's comfy. We move on to this half of the apartment. There's a lot of doors, bear with me. First things first, we have our washer and dryer, which was included with our apartment, thank God. Um, and then we had nowhere to put the vacuum, so we put it up there. Cleaning supplies over there, and then like, you know, our laundry detergent, etc. And the next thing, of course, is my bedroom. Okay, we're gonna start off with this side first. I have a lot of leaves going on, but my last bedroom was like a pink and gray theme. And so I wanted something a little different. So I decided to go with like a pink, sage green and gold theme. And I've never had like greenery in my room before. So I got carried away and bought two packs of these vines from Amazon and then individually put them up every single vine. I like took like a huge piece of tape and like taped five at a time and we'll go put it up there. And then one of my friends who helped me move in, he had to help me because I wasn't tall enough even with a step stool, but I got it. Moving on over to this nightstand, which I got like this gold and marble theme to go with my headboard. And then I got this cute little new alarm clock. It's a mirror clock. It's really pretty. Um, again, like the nightstand, the vines, the headboard, the clock, like almost everything's from Amazon. If you want any of it, it'll be linked in my Amazon storefront in the little description box below. We have a lot of remotes. This <laughs> is actually my pink sheet set from my sheets. 
uh, but I needed something to elevate my projector. I originally wanted a TV, right? But I didn't want to have to buy a TV stand and a TV, and then I, I didn't want my room to be too cramped. This is what the setup looks like, so I can literally be watching from bed. So this sage green comforter is, you guessed it, from Amazon, and then I got some pink throw pillows to accent it. Um, these lights are actually from college, but I thought to just, you know, outline the little window. I got blackout curtains. And I know my curtains are hanging. It's because I got special 94 inch curtains. So that way they give it that look. I didn't want to deal with losing my deposit with drilling a curtain rod. So this is a tension curtain rod. Um, and it's doing pretty great because these curtains are heavy. This is my cute little Dyson fan in case it's like extra hot. I know I could use this, but I don't generally like ceiling fans i don't know why it just messes with my allergies so i have this i have a remote so i can control it from bed and then i had an extra vine so i made it fit the vibe i know this is a really weird angle but i wanted to show you what was under my bed i have my tray in case i decide to eat a meal in bed and watch the projector and then over here i'm not gonna pull it all the way out is my walking pad i'll show you guys my desk setup I have a standing desk and we're all about being active. So I will pull this out, put it there when I need it and then put it away afterwards because I don't want to clutter up the space. Now we're on to the last part of my room starting with this mirror. Oh my God, I've been wanting like a big full length mirror for ages, but obviously I didn't want to invest in one back when I was in college. It definitely cost me a pretty penny, but it was worth every cent. Now I can do like cute little like outfit pictures. This desk is the one that was like TikTok viral from Costco. Um, got my calendar, my monitor, my whole work setup, my work bag. And then this is the TikTok viral crisscross chair, but I guess it's a knockoff version. Uh, this cost me like a hundred bucks. I know the actual one's like 200 or something. I have my height presets. So height two is when I have my walking pad down here and then height one is obviously when I'm sitting. Yep, that's basically it. Under here, we have like a cable tray with like my dock for my monitor and a bunch of other stuff. The last stop on this tour is my bathroom, which now is not connected, but it's fine because it is really freaking big over here my makeup organizer I have stuff like my everyday thing you have like everyday things in here a lot more makeup in here all my hair tools prettily put away down here it's just extra like medicines my mom got me so much toilet paper from costco don't ask me why and then over here is all my hair stuff I got this really big runner rug. I really love how our apartment gave us like this built-in rack. I got this nice laundry hamper and then when I need to take the laundry out, I can just take this bag out instead of the whole thing. My ironing board, jewelry, another mirror. Um, and then over here, I have my nail polish stuff. And then here is like self-care stuff. Got the toilet, another rug. This is my shower, just a basic shower caddy. We go on to my closet, which I'm so excited for because it's also huge. <laughs> uh, first things first, this is my entire shoe collection. Over here are all my clothes, which are of course labeled fancy dresses, long sleeve clubbing clothes, etc. This is work clothes, a huge bag collection, and that is basically it. Oh yeah, hook em horns. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire apartment tour. It was a long time coming. I just needed to put it together. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Come join the fam. If you want to follow me on TikTok, I am at Texas Brownie. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at Ruby. That's about it for me. I will see you guys later. Bye.